Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here. Michael, at your most humble service. Today is Saturday afternoon, just breaking 4 o'clock. And today is deadlift day. If you keep up with my channel, you know Saturdays are my deadlift day. Soon to be changing. I'm fixing to change my routine to where, I have, to where I'm off on Saturdays and Sundays. And I give myself a couple of days break. I'm really, uh, I'm kind of needing it. And I was even debating on doing this today. But as for right now, we're going to go ahead and push a few deadlifts out. I don't have any plans of what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start lifting and see how it goes. And typically on deadlift day, uh, my warm-up set of 135, I do two warm-up sets of 135. Usually they feel as heavy as like 225. So until my body gets used to moving and bending over and putting all that stress, it, it's really, uh, it's kind of weird. I don't know if you experience that yourself, but sometimes it takes a little bit of getting used to uh, putting that kind of stress on you. So anyway, we're going to get going, get these done, get a shower. We got movie night, uh, movie night tonight outside on the projector. And then we'll be watching some scary movies. Uh, the new Terrifier 2 is out. Art the Clown. I'm a fan of that character. So we're going to get this done. And we're going to get a shower and start our night. So let's get it going, guys. Join in. I don't know what I'm doing. Is it tassels? Do I got... Uh, anyway. Ooh. I'm in the wrong shoes. Well, guys, 
Did you see that? 455. I lost my grip. I had that weight. I had it. I lost my grip. That's paint on my hands. This bar has. <coughs> Sorry. I've had the cost for over a week. <coughs> I bought this bar used and it's painted. And there's zero knurling on it as well. Plus, I don't use shock. I mean, I moved that. <coughs> I'm really proud of that. I'm happy with that. What might look like a failure uh, was a huge success. Normally, 450 <coughs> to 455. <coughs> I'm barely budging. I was almost, I was about where, right here? I was probably about right here or so. Maybe, I, and I just, I couldn't hold it no longer. Man, how amazing. I feel so good about that. See, that lets you see, you can look at things differently, guys. Uh, some of you look at that as a failure. I look at that as a success. Uh, that's the furthest I've ever gotten that much weight. And technically, that's my goal, is to get 450 to 455, just one rep. And then I'll, I can die a happy man chasing this deadlift dream. It felt good and everything. Like, I just, I kind of exploded on my lift. Instead of kind of approaching it with ease, I kind of felt myself kind of, that's it. And I just kind of exploded. So... It just felt really good. Now that don't mean next week if I try this and I'm gonna do that again, it doesn't mean I'm gonna make it. It just means today, somehow, I pulled that far on it. So, uh, I'm really happy about that. And, I got my 405 pounds for five reps. So overall, if I stop right here today, and that's all I do, which it probably will be, but that's all I do today, I'm pretty happy. Uh, wow, I can't believe I moved that with such ease. When I was putting the 25s on, when I was putting the 25s on, I was just like, that's not that much weight. I'm gonna move, we're gonna move this. That's not that much more weight. I did the 405 pretty easily. I said, I'm getting this weight up. And had I not lost my grip, pink. Had I not lost my grip, I feel like I could have locked out with that. And uh, that would have been awesome. There's always another day, guys. That don't mean it'll be next week or next month. But there's always another day, as long as you're alive. So it's a quick deadlift session today. I think that's all I'm going to do. Uh, I am fixing to switch things up. I was going to wait until I got my bench PR kind of switch things up, but uh, I think I'm going to have to do something just to kind of bring new life into my workout program, but we'll see what I do. I may do deadlifts twice a week, and because uh, eventually I want to take off Saturdays and Sundays, so I may do something during the week different and switch things up. I'm not real sure of what I'm going to do. I'm sorry I'm rambling on, but I'm kind of I'm kind of excited and happy with what I did. So, anyway, guys, if I give you a little bit of inspiration, I'll be 51 next month. Completely natural, never done a drug, any sort of performance-enhancing drugs, no testosterone, HGH. I don't take nothing. I can't afford nothing, okay? I don't have any money. We can barely eat food. So, <laughs> we're lucky to do that in this day and age. So, I'm completely natural. I eat all the time, eat healthy. I sleep as best I can, I drink water, I work out six days a week, I do cardio seven days a week, so hopefully I inspire you in some way to better yourself inside and out, and I'd like you to inspire me in the comments, leave something good, positive, decent, uh, not only for myself, but the other people that might see it, and uh, let's make the uh, health and fitness community a more positive 
place because it's really toxic. It's a really bad, uh, toxic environment. And uh, so anyway, guys, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Bonnie Beat Down. That's me, Michael, your almost 455 pound deadlifter. Ah, stupid grip. Ah, I knew I was sweaty. I was gonna wash my hands. I was gonna wash them off, but I didn't. Anyway, guys, get up, get out, get red, do a ten. We'll see you next time on the body beat down where we might get another PR or something. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get red, and do it, do it.